Well, I got a quail egg and a chicken egg here, and I'm gonna tell you about the taste difference first. So first off, the taste difference. The chicken egg was a little bit stronger than the quail egg, and it looked a little bit darker yellow color than the quail egg, but we decided that if you served somebody quail eggs and told them it was chicken eggs, they wouldn't be able to tell the difference. We could only tell the difference because we had them side by side and we were eating them and we were looking for a difference. But the other thing is the shell. And the shell of a chicken egg is thicker than the shell of a quail egg. But the membrane of a chicken egg is, um, not, is thinner than the quail egg because the quail egg has a thicker membrane. And that's why quail eggs are a little harder to hard boil than chicken eggs because, well, they're harder to peel because the quail eggs have a thicker membrane so that when you're peeling a hard boiled egg and you have the little clear stuff on the inside, that's the membrane. According to USDA, quail eggs in serving size compared to chicken eggs have more nutrients than chicken eggs and they have a better yolk to white ratio inside but it not it's not like one quail egg has more nutrients than one chicken egg I'm just saying the serving size which is like two or three quail eggs equals one chicken egg and the quail eggs do have more nutrients and are healthier than chicken eggs all right so you might be wondering what I do with the eggshells when I'm done cooking the eggs some people would throw them away and this is what I do with them so first, I rinse each eggshell out, which I already did. And then I'm gonna take a spoon, or you can use a blender, and I'm gonna crush all the eggs up. Now that they're all crushed up, I can go feed them to the chickens and quail, and it adds a source of calcium to their diet. Some people would go to Tractor Supply or wherever and buy oyster shells my crushed oyster shells and use that as calcium but this is a free way of giving your chickens calcium so they can build strong eggs and have a strong body so now i'm going to go feed the chickens and quail some of their quail eggs all right the other chickens are probably laying although here they come out i guess one of the chickens is probably laying right now and they want me to let them out never mind they're not laying i just said a bunch of lies but they want me to let them out so they can graze the grass, but I don't do that till the evenings. So that they, I make sure they get all their eggs out inside the coop and don't lay them out in the field where I can't find them. So I'm gonna lock this off right here. And I'm gonna take the spoonful, go on some eggshells. There you go, eat it off the spoon. And um, immediately start packing it once they figure out what it is. It's kind of awkward with one hand, but bear with me. All right, that was like half the cup of eggshells and I'll probably end up giving them some more but that will be good for now when the chickens ran over with one over there but the rest of them are just munching on some here so now I'm gonna feed the quail see if we can sneak up on Barbie and Angel They're just laying down here. Hey Barbie, hey Angel. How you doing? Oh, you stretching? Sleeping's tiring, isn't it, Barbie? Well, I guess I'm gonna leave you guys alone. I'm gonna go up and feed the quail. Alrighty then. See you later. These quail are still doing good. Fourth one's hot. No, he's over there. But, um, they're still doing good and i got an egg from them this morning actually back there they lay them in their sand pit and they got their food dish over here that's where i'm gonna put the eggshells at so that they'll see that they're in their food dish and they'll know their food 
soon as I stick it in here, this guy's already munching on them. Actually, that's a girl. Gotta use proper terminology. That's a male right there who can face me. Because he's got a red chest. And I'll show you the female. See his chest? It's red. And that's a female because their chests are speckled. Like this one. Speckled. So now I'm gonna stick it in their food. Grab a spoonful. Stick it in their food. Gosh. Be patient. To her here. So be patient. I only got one hand because I'm trying to YouTube this. That's probably enough eggshells for them. This one's hogging all the eggshells over here. What are you doing? Alrighty, and so, gotta fill up their water real quick. But, I'm gonna take these eggshells out. And, I also gotta shut this or else they will keep splashing that around. Knock it all out. This. And now they have water. It's magic. Well, I got my two quail here. That's Lucky. He's the bigger one right there. And the other one, I decided on the name Rocky. Because he's a fighter. And that was some of the comments that you put. So... Lucky and Rocky are still doing good. Like I say, Lucky's a lot bigger. And he's starting to enter the ugly stage of chicks where they're just starting to get feathers, as you can see. When he turns it to the side, you can see his feathers are coming in. So, he's definitely getting bigger. Well, Lucky, Rocky, you got anything to say to everybody before we end this video? Yeah, I agree. They should all like and subscribe and maybe comment if they like Rocky's name. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. I'll see you next time on Yow's Hoppin' Hilltop Farm.